know about Cahagas. I've done my research on him. Unlike American people, to the Americans, we go to school when we're kids. We train for our jobs and our professions when we were when we were children. Cahagas, growing up, he spent all his time in the finest dojos, all the training facilities, training to become a fighter, training to take over in America and to become a great champion. I don't know, Brand Man has that sort of resume, but he does have over 300 pounds behind him. And he's feeling those slashes right now from Cahagas in the corner. And Brand Man is in trouble. I don't think he liked it too much. Coming out, Brand Man throws Cahagas in the corner and chops of his own. 300 plus pounds coming from behind each and every one of those chops. Brand Man showing his karate skills. Oh, trying to get the slash right here. Cahagas got the elbow up just in time. And now Cahagas on the back of Ram Man. And what a maneuver. Kind of a, almost a tarantula type move. Cahagas pulling out all the stuff. I don't think Ram ever seen that one. No way to defend against that. And that's what it's going to take to beat a man this size. you got to cut off the air supply. you got to get there right and just cut off all oxygen from getting to the brain to slow a man that size down. But Cahagas has got to stay on the attack now. Ram Man is reeling. He needs to get back in there. There he is, the kicks to the back of Ramman. The legs again of Cahagas. The big man trying to get back to his feet. Ramman trying to pump up, get the crowd behind him maybe. He's feeling those shots. Maybe not anymore. Blocks the right hand and a big right hand of his own. And there's another. Cahagas goes flying across the ring. Ramman whips him into the ropes. And a big clothesline. This can't be good news for Cahagas. Redman hits the rope, and a huge splash! Oh my goodness! Over 300 pounds come crashing down on Cahagas, but Redman, though, not ready to end it. Redman, once again, pulling one of those big dummy moves. He's being easily distracted. Cahagas has got the case. Ref, get in there. Oh, no. Like I told you, he is the most dangerous man in the world with a kendo stick. And that did Cahagas with a kendo stick to the head of Redman. And he's moving on to take on J.C. Flat for the SEC title. There's not a Florida Marlin on the roster that has a swing like that. Cahagas nearly took Ram Man's head off with that kendo stick. Ram Man lost his head in this one. Looks like it was going to be over. Fell for the face. He got a kendo stick to the head for his trouble. Cahagas may have bent the rules, but he earned himself a shot at the SEC title for his trouble. JT Flash is definitely going to have his work cut out for him. I mean, like you said, he's a new rookie, and he's got to go against a wily veteran, a man who's been training for this his entire life in the Japanese nightmare, Cahagas.